So here I am. I'm 17 years old. I'm coming out with flannel shirt, jeans, and cowboy boots. I'm even wearing my cowboy hat. But that doesn't really make me a cowboy. I have lived in the suburbs of Denver all my life. I have a bike, and that's the closest thing I have to a horse. <laughs> I have worked on a ranch with cattle for two summers, but that doesn't make me a cowboy either. Really, I don't think a cowboy is about what type of jeans you wear or what boots you put on in the morning, what horse you ride, or how much land you even work. I think being a cowboy is all about the attitude. Yeah. Whoa. Where's the Prezi? <laughs> okay, they don't have it apparently. Awesome. <laughs> So, everybody wants to grow up to be a cowboy sometime in his life. Why is that? Because cowboys are cool. They are, what men th they are what men think a man should be. Have you ever seen a lame cowboy? Now, I think cowboys in movies, uh, you know, like the John Wayne and Clint Eastwoods, they, are the, they have bad guys in those movies, but they aren't even re the real cowboys. What is it that a cowboy, what is it that makes a cowboy so cool? When you think about our country, America, building and growing in the wild frontier, you think of cowboys. And during this time, there were no written laws about, no written laws, but the cowboys always lived by the unwritten code. The code of the West was a gentleman's agreement to certain rules of conduct. It was never written, but it was respected by everyone who rode on the range. John Wayne once said, a man's got to have a code, a creed to live by no matter his job. Now, I really like the cowboy's attitude, so I tried to find more out about this code of the West. There has been a lot, of, there has been a lot written about this. The books that really got me interested were written by James P. Owen. He wrote Cowboy Ethics, Cowboy Values, and The Try. It also seems like every famous cowboy like the Lone Ranger and even John Wayne has, have created their own set of the cowboy, the cowboy Code of Ethics. So here are some of the codes that I have found that I think are pretty interesting and you may even find important to this day. Don't inquire into a man's past. Take measure for what he is today. Never steal another man's horse, for he pays with death. Defend yourself whenever necessary. There we are. Look out for your own, your friends and your family. And remove your guns before sitting at the dining table. <laughs> never, order, never order anything weaker than a whiskey. Never. Don't make a threat without ex without expecting dire consequences. Never pass anyone on the trail without saying howdy to them. When approaching someone from behind, give a loud greeting before you get within shooting range. Don't wave at a man on a horse for it might spook the horse. A simple nod will be suffice. After you pass someone on the trail, don't look back at them. It shows that you don't trust them. Riding another man's horse without his permission is like making love to his wife. <laughs> Never even bother another man's horse. Always fill your whiskey glass to the brim. A cowboy doesn't talk much, but he saves his breath for breathing. No matter how weary you are at the end of a hard day's work, always tend to your horse's knees before you own. Always get your horse feed before you eat. Cuss all you want, but only around men, horses, and cow. Complain about the cooking, and you will become the cook. <laughs> Always drink your whiskey with your gun hand to show your friendly intentions. Don't practice in gratitude. A cowboy is pleasant, even when out of sorts. Complaining is what quitters do, and cowboys don't like quitters. Always be courageous. Cowards aren't tolerated in any outfit worth its salt. A cowboy always helps someone in need. 
even a stranger or an enemy. Never try on another man's hat. Be hospitable to strangers. Anyone who wanders in, including an enemy, is welcome at the dining table. Give your enemy a fighting chance. Never wake another man by touching or shaking him, for he might wake suddenly and shoot you. Real cowboys are modest. A braggart who is all gurgle and no guts is not tolerated. Be there for a friend when he needs you. Drinking on duties is instant is grounds for instant dismissal and blacklisting. A cowboy is loyal to his brand, his friends, and those he rides with. Never, never shoot an unarmed enemy. This was also known as the rattlesnake code. Always warn before you shoot. However, if a man was being stalked, this could be ignored. Never shoot a woman, no matter what. Consideration for, for others is central to the code, such as don't stir up the dust around the chuck wagon, and don't wake the wrong man for her duty. Respect the land and the environment by not smoking in hazardous fire areas, disfiguring rocks, trees, or other natural areas. Honesty is absolute. Your word is your bond, and a handshake is bigger than any contract. Live by the golden rule. So really, most of these can be applied to everyday life as we know it. In Owen, Owen's books, he talks about seven core values that built America. Owen states that the spirit of the cowboy is the spirit of America. He states that what America is missing today is a common thread of shared values that are not based on sol not, are not based solely on religion, origins, or politics. That is where the cowboy comes in. The cowboys that's where the cowboy comes in. The cowboy values are how America used to be defined. And we still use the cowboy as a symbol for all good things. There, these are the seven core cowboy values. Courage. Standing up for what you believe in going through the hardship without complaining, accepting risk, change, and failure as part of everyday life. Optimism, having confidence in your own abilities, focusing on the good in your life, and having gratitude for what comes your way. Self-reliance, taking responsibility for your own well-being, walking, making do with what you have, and putting in the time and effort to master a skill. Authenticity, saying what you mean and recognizing your strengths and weaknesses. Honor, being someone who you can be counted on, telling the truth and acting with integrity. Duty, speak with the, your actions, not words. Having responsibility to one larger than yourself. Doing what has to be done. And heart, seeing the good in people. Being a giving person and being a man for others. It's time for our generation to recapture what America stood for. I think it would be cool if we could each adapt these cowboy codes of ethics and apply it to our everyday lives. Together, who knows what the new frontiers can come. <laughs>